fourth graders, it's Miss Striggles. I miss you so much. We are going to be creating art using our iPad. So hopefully everyone has their iPad and we're going to be using the program called Sketches. I'm not sure if everybody was able to download that. So what we're going to do first is review how to download that program. Before we get started as a review, you need to go to self-service, which is this one right here with the green, blue, red, and yellow. Press that one. It's gonna open up to different apps that you can download. What you need to do is you need to find the sketching app that looks like this, and you're gonna press install. If it says reinstall, that means it's already there. So you just press it and it will download to your computer and mine's is right here. So the next step you need to do is to open up the Sketches app. It'll say Sketches, press it. And then you wanna open it up to a blank page. The blank page looks like this. Over to your right hand side is where your colors would be if you touch that square you can scroll up and down and see your colors. Okay, and then to the left hand side are all the different tools that we'll eventually be using. For today, I want you to use the six brush, brush down from the top, which is the flat brush. And just like our artist started with black, that's the color we'll be starting with as well. Before we get started, I would like to go over our objective for today. We're going to be creating four pieces of digital artwork inspired by the artist Piet Mondrian. We also will be incorporating one of the seven elements of art, which is color. You will be creating four different pieces of art, which includes primary, secondary, warm colors and cool colors. The artist that we're gonna be inspired by, his name is Piet Mondrian. He was an artist who created abstract art. I'll put the art that we're gonna be inspired of right here. Okay, so we're ready to get started. The project that we're going to be doing is a two-step project. Step one is to create an abstract outline so that you can use that to fill the space of colors in with the primary color first. So let's get started. You want to make sure that you're choosing the color black first because again the black is going to be our outline and choose the six brush with the flat paint brush. Okay? Then you're just going to take your finger and fill up that whole space and overlap the line, not too much, and bring it back together. What happens is it leaves closed space and open space. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to use primary colors to fill the spaces in. With uh, If it has an open space like this, you're just going to leave it white. What your goal is, is to try to fill it in to make sure that none of the colors that you are choosing are touching. So you go over here, oops, if that happens, press the back arrow, press the black, cancel. So I'm gonna, cho we're choosing red, yellow, and blue. And you're just gonna take your finger and fill in the space and again, don't put the same color next to each other, or at least try not to. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. Okay, as you see, I filled in all of the closed spaces. Uh, to zoom in to make sure that you can get closer, use two fingers to zoom in to like fill in any white spots that need to be filled in. I just wanted to leave some to show you how to do that, change the color. Choose yellow. See how it's a little white? You can fill it in like that. 
So what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to create a new page and some other ones that I've created already. So you, this is a primary one I made, a primary abstract design I've created. Come, press that one. These are the secondary colors, purple, orange, and green. These are the cool colors that I created. So what happened was I couldn't put blue or I couldn't put green or purple right here. So I just left that space white. So we come to an end. I hope you enjoy creating art with me today. I would love to see some of your results. If you can probably email them to your teacher, maybe have your parents, uh, either text them, send an email, take a picture, and then maybe we can have a digital art show one day. Also, if you can please maybe tell your parents two things that you learned today. Maybe you were inspired by our artists that we did. Maybe you loved creating digital art using sketches. Maybe you talk about one of the seven elements about color and how you incorporated that into your art project. I'll be seeing you again next week. Have a wonderful day. Bye.